Brian Trammell, Rhino JB, rolling into Mempho. Right, all right. We are at the 304 Studios in Jonesboro, Arkansas. This is an STSPod.club production. And I have my partner, I'm BT, and my partner in crime is Rhino JB over there, dressed up with nowhere to go. How's it going? <laughs> Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Like you said, dressed up with nowhere to go. That's right. Just... You don't have anything else to do. That's what our theme song says. So <laughs> you just got dressed up for us. Hey, uh, we did get to hear your uh, smooth voice announcing the matches uh, this week. So fantastic. It was really done real well. I, I, you didn't mess up anyone's name. and I'm, I did. I, I did. Oh, you did. Eventually, we'll see you hear you mess up a I name. Did. Okay. All right. Well, we, we didn't hear I it I said today, Walker, so. not Walker Hayes. Oh, did you? You did Walter? I said Walker. I just said I just said Walker. I didn't say oh, Walter Hayes. Oh, okay. At least you didn't say Walter like I did. No, I said no. Walter Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But it, it said Walker on the sheet of paper. So I was reading. <laughs> But I knew better. I knew better. It was a lot of fun. Thank all right. You. All right. Awesome. 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 Uh, just want to let everyone know we're counting down the top 10 episodes of 2021 this weekend. But let me say it doesn't include any of the Memphis episodes because they were way more listens on the Memphis episodes. Everyone loves us, JB. Uh, and it we do have TV support for that podcast. So it has a lot to do. These are the episodes other than Rolling Into Memphis. Oh, be able to check uh, Comic Book Mark BT, Comic Book Mark BT on Twitter. I'm counting them all down today and tomorrow. Uh, and then Wednesday, we have the Patreon side to, uh, actually debuts Cassette Wrestling News. I've talked about that. That's a 30, 34, 35-year-old interview uh, with Owen Hart. So it's really yeah. interesting, about 17 minutes with Owen. Uh, also, we did, we'll do the top 10 stories at noon on Wednesday. We go at noon on Wednesday, me and Lance doing a cool kids countdown, the top 10 Stories of 2021. This is 2022, and we're all fired up, guys. We do hits, misses, uh, MVP, what do you look forward to next week, and must see. So tell me, what's your hits for the week? My hits this week, a uh, few different things here. I got a little bit of a list. Uh, first and foremost, I got to say that guy calling the matches, like you said, smoothest voice ever. <laughs> <laughs> just easy, just easy, just easy. Um, I got to go with, uh, we started this thing off with Martin versus Big Swole. I really enjoyed that match. It was a great wrestling match. One of the things I think we got to look at is Martin. I've spoken on it a few times here on the podcast. He's a solid wrestler, technician wrestler. And not only that, he does a great job of playing uh, his his character roles. With, you have Martin, you have Precious. I think to be able to pull that off and to be able to come out here as Martin, I think he does a great job as Martin. I think Martin is amazing. But it also puts a testament to how amazing Precious is when the crowd keeps chanting for Precious. When they were booing Precious, now they want Precious to come back. Or maybe they could be saying Precious just to get underneath the skin of Martin. But regardless, the name Precious is being said. Also a big fan of Big Swole in this match. Uh, he was the MVP for Championship Wrestling for Memphis. You uh, you know, said something about Big Swole that I just didn't put in consideration before. He's a great positive influence. He's a great positive role model. He's somebody that... Uh, you, you, you look at him in the ring, and he puts in hard work. And I believe he puts that same hard work outside of the ring as well. Um, so, and that swole slam, my gosh, that's a great finishing maneuver for him. Um, I'm glad to see him win that match using that. And he's been winning using that move right there, I think, where he picked up um, – who was it? He picked up a guy I think maybe last week it was that we were pretty impressed with. Might have been Walker Hayes. Uh, Always. When he does that yeah. slam and it gets over with the crowd, we talked about the – I didn't get it with uh, Justin until I saw him live, and he really has that presence and yeah. a fan, big fan favorite. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, another another hit for me was Country Rock versus Elements of Wrestling. One of the things that was spoken on in that match was the passion of Carter Matthews. Carter Matthews, I had the I had a chance of speaking with him, and he definitely has a passion for the business and a passion of connecting with the fans. And I see the fans connecting more and more with Country Rock. Uh, I, I want to see more of them as a tag team. I like the trio tag, but I would like to see more of them as a tag team together. And you know how I feel about elements of wrestling. Too proper, right, baby. Right, Too right. proper. I love them. I love them. <laughs> uh, another hit for me was uh, the Crowleys and that strap match. I love, 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 love the strap match. It had an old Memphis wrestling feel to it. Um, and I thought the Crowleys 
look like superstars. I say it time and time again. Those guys, to me, you could put them in any kind of match. I don't know if you noticed, but everyone in that packed house, everyone was watching that match with the Crowleys. And it's usually the case. They draw attention uh, extremely well. And they, to me, they go over in every single match they do. They do their jobs. They hit every mark uh, for what I see as a fan. And for me, those are my hits. All right, all right. I will piggyback on Martin and Swole. I like the match, like the finish. Uh, I thought it was a solid match for both guys. I love, and we're going to have Martin on the show, so it'll be fun to talk about it. Uh, Chris Hayes and the dive. I love the dive. I love the, uh, they faked us out, and then Chris did the big yeah. dive. Uh, it was really cheesy, but I love the Derek King thing with Tiger Joe yes. on the phone. For some reason, I like that. Uh, it reminds me also with the neck brace, it's reminded me of Andy Kaufman even more, so we may see some of that. And my last hit was that main event, uh, the black hole slam that uh, that we've seen. They called it the uh, Big Bubba Slam is what Dustin called it. And then Dustin said, Big move because he didn't know the name of the move for the finish. <laughs> um, but that's got that's a, a callback to Corey Macklin, who was an announcer. Every time Corey could come up with the move, he said, Big move. Big move. So there you go, Dustin. <laughs> Big thumbs up to Dustin for using that. That's my hits for the week. All right, let's talk about misses. You know, for um. <sighs> I didn't really have any misses besides I will say, you know, maybe from this first episode, um, it's a three week event. It's a three week event, but I was expecting a little bit more. Um, maybe I, you know, I'm really anxious for the Thunder Rosa, really anxious for the Jordan Grace, really anxious for that grind city rubble, but I thought it was a great first episode for this three week event. Um, and that's all, that's all I got. Your miss. Here's my miss. Okay. So I'm real picky here. Guys, a strap match is when you put the guys strapped together on the wrist. Yeah. And they got a strap in between them. A lumberjack match is what we watched today that they called a strap match the whole time. I don't know if it was one of those things where they called it a strap match and then had to go with it being a strap match, but that was actually what in in wrestling most of the time we call a lumberjack match. But it was one of my mm -hmm. favorite parts of this. So I'm being picky and, and uh, but that was the miss for me. Real quick, I want to talk about Patreon. We will spin the wheel in February. If you join this month for five dollars, you get two spins. This package, this uh, this month, or when we spend it in February, is the Memphis Wrestling Awards Banquet Packet Package. It comes with a DVD of the event, two Memphis Wrestling shirts, five 12 by 18 posters of Memphis stars, including a signed Scholar poster, four different VIP lanyards, a video of Terrence Ward announcing you coming to the ring, and all kinds of stuff from our sponsors. So it's almost a hundred dollars worth of stuff, guys. Just join for five dollars. All right, man. Uh, let's go. Who's your MVP for the week? My MVP for this week is going to be a tie between Martin and the Crowleys. Those are my MVPs here. Oh, Martin and the Crowleys is yep. MVP. Co MVPs. Co MVPs. Well, I guess triple. MVP. Man, I had to give it. I had to give it to Walker Hayes. I just love what they've been doing. No, that's with solid. This. Yeah. This is a, a young guy who we both like, and I yeah. thought, man, he's green when he first started. But I love everything about what they're doing with him. I've seen – I mentioned this last week. I actually put it on the STS Pod uh, Facebook page. He can do promos. Uh, and, and Warsaw put him over. The Crowleys put him over. Uh, where does this end? Does I mean, it's almost like the story has ended with the Crowleys. Are they going to be back? Or the what's the Crowleys going to do with him? Uh, is he going to keep the mask off? Uh, but I'll go with Walker Hayes as my MVP. So, All right, man. You know what time it is. It is time for question of the week. One of my absolute favorite things to do, and that's answering your questions. And that's why we're launching a brand new podcast coming your way very, very soon. Myself and Brian Tremel. It's the shooting star. And today's question is about AEW and the stars that have been coming here to Memphis Wrestling. It's from AEW Fan 343. They ask, since you're booking Joey Janela and Brian Cage, and I've had Thunder Rosa and Lance Archer. Who else would you like to see 
from AEW. Well, AEW fan 343, that's a heck of a question because my fingers are going numb from texting and emailing AEW superstars. I think it changed the game having Lance Archer here the very first time going toe to toe against the gun show Brett Michaels. So of course we're going to give you more AEW superstars. And if you're watching this show and question of the week on Saturday, the 8th, that means tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow on Sunday, January 9th, it's the machine. Brian Cage going head to head with the bad boy Joey Janela. But to answer your question, I would absolutely love to have Orange Cassidy. If Orange Cassidy was on the program, I'd have to wear a blue jean jacket and a white t-shirt or something. What about Sammy Guevara? I would love to have Sammy here flying high with a tope suicita over the top rope and to the floor. So Sammy Guevara is definitely on the list. And gosh, what about Cody and Brandy Rhodes? What kind of a showdown would that be? Even if it wasn't a match, just imagine myself and my Maria on one side and Cody and Brandy on the other. Anyways, there's a whole slew of AEW stars that we would love to have here in Memphis. And stay tuned because we have some big announcements coming your way. And if you have a question for me, go ahead and hit us up. Put it in the comments, email, whatever you got to do. Shout it from the mountaintops. Hit me up. It's the question of the week. Oh, yeah. Back to you guys. All right, that was Dustin with the question of the week. We have it right here. Question of the week, call 501 232 1701. We'll play it right here. Uh, audio, STS Pod Club at Gmail if you want to email. We kind of did this question, uh, just me and you, about who we'd like to see come in. But here's what I'm going to do I'm going to pick the guy, and I want you to tell me who you want to book against him on the Memphis roster. All right. So I'm okay. picking a guy. You got to tell me who you want to see against him in the ring. And it's a guy that Dustin mentioned, Sammy Guevara. Who do you want to see Sammy Guevara against on the Memphis Championship Wrestling roster? Who do you want? Man, I said this last time, but I'm going to say it again. Jackson Crowley. I, I mean, they, because when I think about the way that um, Sammy Guevara moves in that ring and the speed that he moves at, I want to see somebody that can move at that same exact speed with him. And uh, Jackson Crowley, he's, man, just so damn good. I believe the same way, the same thing about Sammy Guevara. So if you throw in Sammy Guevara in that ring, I, I hope that we can see Jackson Crowley uh, go up against him because I think we're going to get one hell of a match that we've never seen in Memphis before. I'm going with Zay Washington. That's the two oh, yeah. guys I want to see. That would be a hell of a match. I've been pushing Zay all the time yeah. since we started, but I'd love to see those two guys. Uh, Sammy Guevara against uh, Zay Washington or Sammy against Jackson Crowley. Book it, Dustin. Book it. Book it. Uh, <laughs> remember, tomorrow, 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 it is an AEW match. Joy Janela against The Machine. Uh, Brian Cage, I want to know, did you see the Janela video? That's all I want to ask you. I have not seen you the Janela. You got to go. You got to go to it. It's hilarious. He <laughs> says half this, half that, half that. Wait, it's three halves? Wait. Uh, but very good, very good. Uh, tomorrow, 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 uh, you guys get down there. They, I did talk to Dustin earlier this morning just to see about tickets. It, man, I, I, don't, I don't say this unless I'm telling you the truth, Okay. It is almost sold out. It really yeah. is. So if yeah. there's something, if you want an autograph, a VIP experience when it comes to Brian Cage or Joey Janela, do it right now. Get off get off yeah. watching us and go to the website, get you a ticket, and come back. And you can always watch our feed, too. So uh, rewind, rewind. All right, what do you look forward to on next week's show? That guy calling the matches, man. I hope no, he comes he's so good. He's, <laughs> he's so good. He's so good. He's over. He's over. <laughs> uh, next week. I'm I'm looking forward to. Um, I don't know if it's the, the beginning of the Grand City Rumble or not. Uh, next week. No, I'm it is. Uh, next week's main event will be Michaels against uh, Mike Anthony. I think the Rumble. Oh, that's is on what I'm looking third. forward to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, one right there. That's yeah, me too. Final to. showdown in just mm -hmm. the weeks to come. We're mentioning AEW. They announced it today on the show. Yep. Nyla Rose is coming. Woo! So I, I talked to Dustin about this too. I said, 
lots of wins on TV. Uh, we'll go against anybody in the female division. Uh, we'll be entertaining when it comes to Memphis wrestling. I, I, me, I would book her like uh, with the tag team partner or something. Just I know I, BT the booker. I'm always wanting to book somebody, but uh, Nyla Rose is a monster guy. So it'll be fun to watch a, a match with her and anybody on on the roster. Uh, Again, again, I want to tell you tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Uh, be there. Uh, be there. All right. So I got an announce. I haven't even told you this. We're having a special guest joining us for Rolling Into Mempo. They will go through the whole hits, misses, the whole nine yards. And let me tell you, Rhino, he's coming to Rolling Into Mempo because he has heat with you. He's got heat with me? He's got heat with you. Oh man! Can you want tell you who it number? is? Tell me who, who is it. Terrence Ward will be joining oh. us. T Bone. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I told him since you know hey, you took his spot. We'll bring him <laughs> on, and I, you know I always want to start shit, so I got to try to start my shit going. <laughs> Oh man! I gotta, well, if you're gonna take his spot, I gotta like you know it's kind of like an interview. No, Terrence is gonna join up. us. He's he's really fun. Uh, he's That's actually awesome. helping doing the ring announcing of somebody. He'll if you're a Kane fan, if you're an Undertaker fan, we'll we'll announce your name with that music and everything. So we're gonna bring uh, T Bone coming on. Excited about that. Must see. What is a must see thing from this show? Uh, I would say for me, uh, it goes along with my MVPs. That I believe the strap match is a must see, but I also believe the match between Martin and Big Swole is a must see. I think that match does a strong testament to how good uh, both those guys are uh, in that ring, especially Martin. I thought Martin did a great job, and I always every time he steps in that ring, he doesn't miss a beat. In my opinion, and I think that match is one of those matches that really showcases how great he is in that ring. I think he's just one of the more underrated. Uh, wrestlers on the roster, and I think that match shows you how good he is. So that's you're going you're gonna really enjoy uh, his uh, visit with me. I believe uh, he's got a, a I'm looking forward a to great it. story. He's got a great story, yeah. uh, so it'll be fun to see. And you know, I want to tell you, I, you know, I know I'm gonna get Martin, and I'm hoping I get Martin Boyd, which is his shoot name. We're not going that's his shoot name, but I uh, I really think we might see an appearance. My precious. You just never know. You just never know. Must see. Let me tell you. It's that ring announcer. That's the reason I want you to go. <laughs> I want you to go listen to that. That's the must see. Let me put somebody else over. That's my referee for the six-man tag. His name is Sleazy E. I don't know what they call him on, but he does the <laughs> shoot the shiznit theme song. So if you listen to the flagship show, Shooting the Shiznit, he actually does the theme song and he also, it's Elijah, he is a referee. Uh, Sleazy E's his music name. There we go. And uh, let me say something. Must see, I would say, did I say the strap match? So the strap match at the end, really yeah. good main event. I think they could have probably done an unedited version because I've seen a couple of breakaways. That match must have went forever. So that may be something to put up on YouTube. Uh, but, hey, me and you are going to be here next week. We're going to have T-Bone with us on the same bat time and the same bat channel on the best little wrestling podcast in the business. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Be there. And as everyone knows, I love my mama. Me too. I almost just killed the microphone. <laughs>